Hi everyone, this is Ray with the channel Love Water Healing and I'm here to do a reading for all of my soul collective for the week of 326 2021. We'll be using the Guardian Angel Tarot cards for this reading. Hope everyone's doing fabulous. Um, we're coming out of this full moon energy. Well, not completely out of it yet, but we're so we're still in it a little bit. So it's just a time for releasing, letting go of old things that no longer feel good, um, old habits, anger, resentment, um, sadness. So if you have something that you've really been working on and it's been really intense for you, this is the time to say, yes, I release. I'm letting go and I'm moving on to things that bring me joy, right? Because who wants to keep paddling up the river? I certainly don't. I want to get in that river and just let it flow. So for this week, you got the card and it's a number 12, which is a three, which is awesome. Um, power of three sets you free. So remember that power of three sets you free. Uh, seeing clearly. So this is a beautiful card. Look, it's like this dog and he's on his head and he's like looking through his legs like and it's seeing seeing clearly it's like you have to turn yourself upside down to really see what's going on it's time to view things from a different perspective oh my gosh you have the blessed gift to see past the current situation and envision and envision amazing possibilities don't worry the pause and momentum while you rethink your plan won't last embrace your uniqueness and allow it to serve you so that's really important to hear, I think. Don't worry. The pause and momentum while you rethink your plan won't last. So even though there's a little tiny stop in what you were doing, it's okay. It's not going to last. It's about you finding the joy or bringing happiness or thinking about what makes you feel love in that situation in order for it to push forward. So the faster that you do that, the shorter the momentum or the shorter the pause and the faster the momentum goes. <clears throat> So, and it says you embrace your uniqueness. So that's why you have the dog up here looking through um, its legs <laughs> to really see clearly on what's going on. And this might take you too to a place this week because we are in that full moon that you feel like you do need to stand on your head and you need, you need to look through your legs and say, what am I not seeing? What have I not been really at home with? What is not bringing me joy anymore? It's like, why don't you like open up your closet and empty it completely out, give everything away and then see what comes your way, right? And I'm not saying like get rid of all your stuff. I'm saying <clears throat> start exploring and seeing things like in your life that you're like, wow, that's been sitting there for a whole year and I haven't done anything with it. Does this bring me joy? Do I feel like I need this in my life anymore? If not, donate, give it to a friend, let it release and get out of your life so that you can start seeing clearly because when you start to clear things out of your life too so you know for example cleaning right cleaning the space that you currently reside in that you sleep in is beautiful once you've gotten that fully cleared up the energy opens up and you're like wow and it could take everything like maybe you do have a very clean environment but maybe there's a comforter in your bedroom that you've always wanted to change out but you're like it's perfectly great it keeps me warm when I need to keep me warm it looks nice but it doesn't bring you joy get rid of that comforter get one that brings you joy like that's how simple it is you don't have to keep those things because they make you feel joy you can give those things away which will bring you joy and will start you sitting in that boat going with the river you want to go with the flow so if something doesn't feel good, don't consistently keep it in your life. Keep it flowing in a circle. No, we don't want that. That's you sitting in a boat, paddling against the stream, against the current, trying so hard to get somewhere that you'll never ever get. Because you have this notion in your head that I need to do this and I need to keep being unhappy in this circle. No, you don't. No, you don't. You need to start being happy letting go of the anger or resentment and things that you have in your life that no longer bring you joy. The past is the past. The future may never come. You have the present. You have the present right here. And it is my present from me to you to say, it's time to let go. It's time to move on. 
It's time to find joy. It's time to sit in that boat and let it take you. Super hard to hear because you don't want to necessarily always go with the flow. But when you start going with the flow and you start just letting your intuition guide you, <sighs> yeah, it's like it's like goosebumps all over my body. It's like, oh my gosh, like you finally found what brings you joy. Why wouldn't you want to do that? So start seeing clearly, clear up the space, clear up how you feel, clear up how you eat, whatever that starts bringing you joy. So that when you get in that boat, you let the river take you. Okay, so Collective, you have a wonderful, fantastic week. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. I really appreciate you being here. As always, love your water and love yourself. And I'll see you on the next video. I love you.